Hey there Sagittarius, welcome to Shared Sentience. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate it. So this is going to be uh, your general yearly reading for 2021. Anything you guys need is going to be in the description box down below. All right, I do have personal readings open right now for uh, $25.25. So all that information is going to be at the very bottom of the description box if you guys are interested. So we are going to go ahead and get started here. What's going on for Sagittarius? What's going on for Sagittarius? Okay, you haven't had that card pop out yet in this batch. Ooh, that one either. Okay, so new energy, exciting. Alright, so um, we have the Queen of Cups as the overall energy. Um, that's been the overall energy for two other signs, and I can't remember who it was, okay? But Queen of Cups, Cancerian energy. I do feel like you guys are really in your head about some kind of offer that's not being made, okay? Uh, that's how that feels to me. It seems like there's an offer that's not being made that you've been expecting for quite a while here. Um, so I feel like you're very focused on that for whatever reason. This could be a call. It could be anything that you've been expecting, but it seems like you've been waiting on it. And it seems like you're still waiting on it, all right? Um, now, as to whether or not that cup is actually closed or if that's what you're thinking, because there's this open shell here, so you could be overthinking the situation, but we'll get into that and see. Um, yeah, we'll get into that and see. But Queen of Cups showing up, she is a very um, giving, nurturing uh, kind of queen. So I would keep that... Um, I would kind of, I don't want to say really step out of that energy, but uh, I would kind of set boundaries in a sense here because it seems like there could be potential for that to be taken advantage of, right? Here in the month of January, you have the Seven of Swords, Moon and Aquarius energy. So literally uh, somebody being taken advantage of, uh, somebody being taken from, I should say, this is a card of theft, trickery, deceit, lies, holding something back. Um, it can be a card of needing to have a plan, needing to strategize, okay? You, some of you guys could have your moon in Aquarius, but you don't have to, okay? But with this card showing up, I do feel like somebody is being deceptive uh, in some way here towards you this month, Sagittarius. I feel like somebody is taking from you in a sense. Maybe you don't realize it. Maybe they're being manipulative and they don't realize it, all right? Um, for some of you, I feel like this person, it's just in their nature. They don't even realize there's anything actually wrong with what it is that they're doing. And maybe it's because you are so ready to hand these parts of yourself over. Uh, so maybe that kind of cancels out all guilt that they have about taking and not giving anything, all right? Keep that in mind. In the month of February, I see you kind of going cold to this energy. All right. Um, you have Aquarius energy here with the King of Swords. I also see you gaining clarity in a sense. Um, no, I feel like clarity is rolling in. All right. It's on its way to you. And I think that you can kind of feel it coming in, in a sense. All right. I feel like you are kind of hardening yourself. You're trying to prepare yourself in a way. Um, in March, you have the Nine of Swords. So I feel like that clarity is here. Um, it has come in, but it's something that maybe you don't want to see. Mars and Gemini energy, uh, he is sitting up out of the bed. So there's something he's waking up to, but it's something he doesn't really want to face, something he doesn't want to see. All right. For some of you guys, this could be an ending or it could just be an unpleasant truth, which those happen in life. Um, and, you know, I feel like you'll get through this. In the month of April, you have the hangman, Pisces energy. All right. So I feel you in a very stuck position. Um, not so much grieving, but just a little bit stuck, okay? Um, yeah, it feels like you're not really, um, you're not really giving much like you were in this Queen of Cups energy, and you're not open to receiving at the same time. So it seems like you're kind of just stuck there in this hangman energy, and then all of a sudden here in the month of, um, May, you have the Wheel of Fortune. So there's some kind of big shift, some kind of big change. Wheel of Fortune is a really good card, okay? It means that things are turning in your favor. Um, if you ask me, things are always working out in our favor. But, um, overall, I feel like there is a big shift, a big change where something, you know, you finally get closure on something. And maybe you find this closure by being in this stuck energy, by sitting with this, um, clarity that you gained here in the um, first part of the year. Um, I feel like this could be new love coming in for some of you guys here in the months of May and June because you have the Knight of Cups, uh, which is Pisces energy. Uh, it represents a dreamer, a visionary, um, and it represents love, right? 
um, but he is kind of hesitant to step into that water there. So you may be a little bit closed off to this energy because it came in a little bit quickly. So maybe you're trying to slow your roll here and not be so quick to over invest in something. Uh, but I feel like this person kind of has dealt with the same energy that you have dealt with. Okay. Because in the month of July, you have the Five of Pentacles. So maybe it's revealed to you that, you know, for example, hey, I went through that too. So there's somebody who, you know, is telling you that you're not alone in that. You know, maybe this person, for example, you're saying, well, you're afraid to be vulnerable. And this person's like, yeah, me too. <laughs> you know, because it is a scary thing. Mercury and Taurus here with this Five of Pentacles. But I do feel like there's somebody here who's building with you with that Five of Pentacles. And I feel like the both of you could kind of be outside of yourselves in a sense. Um, trying to find out where to go next. You're not going to be who you were before, but you're trying to figure out who you are now, okay? And I feel like you're doing that together. And it's creating a really strong bond between the two of you because you have the Ten of Cups here, Mars and Pisces, showing up in um, August, okay? So I feel like whatever pressure was on you to, um, you know, not open up, to not be vulnerable, vulnerable, excuse me, I feel like the both of you are releasing that here. Those open arms, welcoming in that Ten of Cups, welcoming in all this happiness. I like it a lot. I think that you guys are building together. September, the Three of Pentacles, okay? So yeah, building together, working together, collaboration, Mars and Capricorn. For those of you where this could be worker, business related um i feel like somebody wants to work with you build with you they're noticing your efforts they're noticing your work your talents okay now um in the month of um October, <laughs> how to think about it. Um, you have the Four of Swords here. So I feel like this will be a month of rest and relaxation. Also guidance, all right? I feel like you guys are being guided in a specific direction. For some of you guys, this is towards a new home or a new job, okay? This is Jupiter in Libra. I also feel like you guys are taking a moment, um, more than a moment actually, um, it's, it's kind of moving into a space of gratitude in a sense because the traditional meaning of this card is kind of like when the knights would come back from war, they would lay in their coffins and kind of thank God that they were not dead in that coffin. So I feel like you guys are moving into a space of gratitude here in... Um, the month of October, all right? In the month of November, like I said, in that Four of Swords energy, you guys are gaining clarity on something, on where to move next. And then in November, you have the Six of Swords. So I feel like this is travel of some sort, even if it's just movement from like one position to another when it comes to work. Mercury and Aquarius, I feel like you guys are making a big change here, all right? Um, and then the Emperor status, this could definitely be a promotion, but showing up in the month of December, I feel like you guys have regained power here in a sense, where you guys were once kind of in a vulnerable, almost put push over energy here with this Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is a really good card. Don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with being giving and compassionate and caring, but I feel like you've allowed people to take from you, okay? And you're realizing how that has not served you well, okay? Because, you know, even when we are doing ourselves wrong, we can still receive karma for that, okay? And it's called people taking advantage of us because we're over-investing and we're giving too much uh, without demanding a return on our energy. But like I said, I feel like new love is coming in here when you guys least expect it or some kind of new opportunity. So I like that a lot, but I do feel like you guys are learning a big lesson this year uh, to not give away your power and to not over-invest. I also feel as if for others of you, there could be a promotion or something of that nature coming up here towards the end of the year, Aries energy with that emperor. But that is what I'm seeing here for you, Sagittarius. I do hope it was helpful. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and supporting me and you all have a great year. Bye.